Hey guys, John here. Um, this is a video response to PhD and D, and to his, uh, which was it? Uh, to his video on the initiative conundrum, which is um, basically the the problem in this or the issue is the mentors enter a room of orcs and however the orcs are not. The orcs are actually orc children, and they have, you know, but they're mistaken as orcs, so they're, because, you know, they're, they have weapons, or like they were kind of playing with some weapons or whatever. Um, and Peter Tudis, his question is how does he, how to handle it without it saying, just roll initiative right away and make it just seem like combat's just one course of action. Well. I have a couple ways of handling it, uh, like like a few, which is first, first and foremost, have it be the player's choice, you know, and uh, and to kind of influence the player's choice of combat, which they're probably just gonna say regardless. I'd make this. I'd make. I would say the room that the workshop are in. It's not a very nice room. It's very smelly. It's very dirty. Maybe, maybe there's um, because if we're talking a dungeon, maybe maybe there's like a crick running through it. Because it could be if it's like a mountain. Yeah, there's a crick running in, and it's like all dirty and it's all full of waste. Because well, it's our children. You gotta put the waste somewhere. But yeah, just make it a room that's very unpleasant. And people are just getting oh my god, it's just so nauseating. It's just get what's it. So, so the players are like, just let the, let's, we kill them, you know, let's get over with, you know, really drive them up. This is not a room you want to be in, and there's probably nothing in this room, you know. And, you know, and then, you know, after that happens, you know, as they're, oh, and, uh, and then, you know, they have them killed. It's like, oh, and well, one, the room smells even worse, because now you have dead orc. And then, you know, you have... The, the, or, the parents come out, it's like, oh, you killed our children, oh, I die, so now they, you know. That's just a consequence of action, and that's influencing the action to go your way. And, you know, even with that, the players decide, it's like, oh, okay, roll to shift, you know, and the players decide to do that. Another way is doing a surprise round. Uh, the orcs, the orc, the orc children get a surprise round on them, because they just kind of see the adventurers walk in, and they're kind of like, or whatever, and they go, you know, and they, yeah, they pick up their weapons and they start like hitting their legs or something, you know. And even then, that that should throw them off guard that they're children, but uh, they're hitting their legs. But I don't know. Depends. Depends how what you think what children look like. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's another way. Another way is not exactly combat. It kind of goes back to my first scenario player action. But if it didn't leave the combat, and it's more of um, what's called the prisoner dilemma, where maybe you have a character, because a character might do this. It might be a ranger or a wizard who kind of uses one of their skills, like arcana or perception, dungeoneering or history, where they kind of infer, or it could be just an intelligence check, where they infer that. They're not, that they aren't work children, or they're not mature works. Alright. They're, they're, they're younglings. So that kind of raises the question now. They find out. Now what do they do? And it's like, are, I mean, because you could easily argue, it's like, oh, excuse me. They're orcs, so they're evil. We kill evil, or at least not to. It's with a lot of good characters would say, or even even kind of the chaotic, even the chaotic neutrons would say that, even the chaotic goods would say that. But yeah, or you know, it's like, what if we took them? You know, what if we took them and raised them? Would they be evil, or if we gave them to someone, you know, or if we left the room, you know. But yeah, and, and that's just something that. The problem with the prisoner dilemma, it'll come down to an alignment. It's, you'll probably have people walk away. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, um, if it, 
If I was doing this in my game, how I run, I would just make it the player's choice, but I'd probably do it more of the influence. Yeah, you know, this is like a horde room. Because therefore it's like, oh, I don't want to stay here. I don't want to stay here, but I want the experience. You know, it's, it's kind of that. But anyway, that's kind of my... That's kind of my two cents on this issue. Um, I hope this was a pretty informative video. And as always, I'm John. Happy gaming and play more games.